We are indeed very grateful and honored that Honorable Minister of the State for External Affairs, Sri Virodi Dharaji, has accepted our invitation to be the chief guest this morning, despite his very busy schedule. <laughs> what, what can show a greater motivation and support for the African cause than that the Honorable Minister just landed this morning at 9.35 and he is with us at this hour. Thank you very much, sir. He is also the Minister for Africa. He had led a delegation to the ECOWAS and since then several countries have already visited. You know that I have served about one third of my career in Africa. But one thing we used to miss was a consistent policy. What you think Prime Minister Modi believes that has happened is that the Prime Minister has refocused on Africa. We used to have a trade deficit, uh, visit deficit with Africa, despite it being an umbilical accord between our countries and India. But you know, focused approach. But during his visit to Kampala, while he was addressing the parliament, he came up with these ten guiding principles: Africa for Africans. That is the central. And honourable minister, several of the ministers have visited Africa since then. So we don't have that problem anymore about the visits being missed because you know high level visits are very important for underscoring the partnership. We have been assisting Africa all along. We continue to do so. But today we do it in a greater partnership. The fact that this year, 2024, the Visya Chamber's first major event is also dedicated to Africa. And I'm very grateful that Excellencies, the diplomats, Chargé Affairs have our with us today to interact with you all. And I'm very happy that large number of captains of industry and business have turned up today, which shows the commitment for enriching our ties and relationship with Africa. Only last week, our external affairs minister, Dr. Jashankar, he was to Kampala and then he was in Nigeria. So the, the momentum is there. But the government can do as much, can provide you a platform, can provide you the facilitation. But the business has to be done by the business. Africa today has changed. We have to understand that. And it has changed in the way that it wants to move forward on its own speed, along with partners who care. And India is a partner with beliefs in sharing and caring. And that's why we are here, all of us, to show our strength. And when we were walking in, the Honorable Minister was telling me that we need to materialize these projects. Whatever is there. So that is up to you now. We are here, the embassies are here, the ambassadors are here. We need, you need to interact with them, find out opportunities for yourself. And of course, Minister of External Affairs and the Government of India provides the fullest support. I won't take much time. I would once again like to welcome you all, and I'm most grateful to the Honorable Minister to be with us today. Thank you very much.